Hello and welcome back to the course on Tableau. And in today's tutorial, we will learn how to create an area chart. And also, I will show you a cool feature which you can use in your data discovery processes. So we'll start off with the feature. Right away in front of us here, we've got the chart that we created last time. And by no means is this a final product. It can't go into any report and it's way too cluttered to present any insightful information. But at the same time, you might find yourself with a chart like this or something similar while you're doing your data discovery process. While you're looking for those anomalies, trends, and patterns, you sometimes will find yourself with a very, very cluttered chart which you are trying to interrogate to find those answers. So here, what we have is the representation of unemployment, long-term unemployment in the US between 2005 and 2015. So we've got this timeline here. It is shown to us by month. Uh, it is the median of the unemployment and it, the granularity level is gender plus age. So that means for every month, there is several age groups, seven age groups times two genders. So for every month, there is 14 observations that are presented on this chart. And as you can see from the color legend here, uh, men are represented in blue uh, circles and women are represented with orange circles. So what happens if you want to uh, interrogate one of these genders more uh, specifically and understand exactly what's happening there? Well, one way is to restructure the chart and just leave that one gender. But there's another great approach, which is called highlighting, which helps you achieve the same result, but much faster. And all you have to do is go to your color legend and just click on the gender that you're interested in. So if you're interested in looking at women, you just click on women and there you go. So that, that is a representation of female unemployment for that same period for those uh, same age groups. And also same thing you can do with male. Just click on men and you will see uh, that the circles associated with male unemployment are highlighted for you right away. And a lot of uh, people... Uh, forget or don't even know about this feature and therefore they spend too much time restructuring their charts. But in reality, if you're just doing data discovery and you just want those answers quickly and you want to understand exactly what's happening, it's a very handy thing to know and to have. So um, definitely look into that. We'll, I'll just share another example now. Uh, let's look at age, for instance. We know that we have age in the chart as a level of granularity and we, the way we got it there is we gra dragged it into the detail shelf. So it is um, increasing or making the chart more granular. But at the same time, it's not represented anywhere on the chart. It's not a color, it's not a shape, it's nowhere. So if we want to be able to highlight age, we need to give it some sort of um, representation, visual representation on a chart. And so uh, because color is already used, let's drag age into shape. Right away, you can see that now for every single age group uh, that we have, we've got a new shape. And we would want to highlight, say, uh, 35 to 44 years old. And we would press here naturally, but nothing happens. So as we click around, nothing happens, nothing's been highlighted. But that can be easily fixed. You just have to go to this button over here, which says Highlight Selected Items. And if you click on that, now it will allow you to use this um, legend to highlight the items that you're interested in. And as we click through, you can see that we're focusing on the different uh, unemployment of different age groups. So once again, very handy feature to uh, know about and to use in your data discovery. Uh, definitely take it into your uh, data science arsenal. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create an area chart. Let's uh, move back to uh, just our original line chart. So I'm gonna take age and gender out, gonna change this to line, and instead of median unemployment, we're going to look at the sum of unemployment. So now we're seeing the total unemployment uh, or long-term unemployment for every single month in the US between 2005 and 2015. So uh, the chart ranges from 0 million to 7 million. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take age, so the age groups, and we'll drag it into color. And what that'll do is it'll give us many line charts. Now the chart ranges from 0 to 1.6 million and every single line chart or line is here is independent. And so, for instance, um, like here you can see that for 35 to 44 years old, uh, people in April 2010, that employment was 1.38 million. And once again, we can use the color legend to highlight the 
lines that we want to look at. So that's handy. But at the same time, this visual is not very useful. You can't, it's not easy to understand. And as we discussed, it is our job as data scientists to make these visualizations very friendly and very easy to uh, interrogate for people who are looking at them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change this visualization to a different type. And one way of doing it is just trying to explore and finding out what visualization is going to work in this particular case. So for that, you can use the show me function and you can just click around. So for instance, you look at a tree map. Is a tree map going to work? And right away, you can see that even though it looks <laughs> quite hypnotizing, it's not going to work uh, for a report. It's not, it, you can't really tell much from this uh, visualization. How about a um, bubble chart? Once again, very beautiful in terms of art. This is probably a 10 out of 10. But in terms of insightfulness, not really. Can't really tell much from here. Too much uh, information being thrown at me. Um, so you can just click around and find the best one that you like. But the one I suggest going with in this case is an area chart. So we're going to click on that. And right away you can see how this area chart has been created for us. And it looks pretty incredible and very, I think, insightful. And we'll learn how to um, make it even better just now. But before we do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create it from scratch without this show me button. So I'm just going to cancel, close that. And I'm just going to cancel these steps and go back to our line chart. So what you want to do here is if you go to the drop down here, instead of line, just go to area. And what you'll see is now all of these unemployment rates have been uh, st stacked on top of each other. So look at this axis here. I'll just go back to the line chart. So I'm just going to click here. You can see here that it's it only goes up to 1.6 million. And that's because each one of these lines is independent. Now if I go to area, it goes all the way to 7 million. Now that's because they're being stacked up. And as they're stacked, the total increases here as well. So the the actual unemployment for different groups, uh, different age groups, is given uh, by this pop-up over here. So for instance, in this case, it's 1.56 million unemployment in that month for 25 to 34 year olds. So that's how you create an area chart. And once again, you can still highlight with color. So remember about that, that's a very powerful feature. And what else uh, we can do here is we probably can add some labels to make it really look really cool. So we're going to take age, press control, and we'll drag it into label. And now you can see that a label has been added. And once again, we can, as we know already, we can format these labels, um, maybe make it bold. And as you can see, this is already starting to look much, much better. Uh, there's no label for the top one. That's because it probably just doesn't fit. But it kind of makes sense. They're uh, all in her, like ascending order going downwards. And so that sums it up for us for today. We uh, learned how to create an area chart and we learned about highlighting. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to create a filter. We will use gender as a filter. And I will show you also, uh, we'll recap a little bit on uh, level of detail and granularity and highlighting as well. So I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.